Toronto, more artilleries. Good. Uh, let's keep going military units. We are going to want to go back to educational stuff soon enough, but for now we're okay. Uh, let's actually go ahead and tech up this tree here. Before we steal one of these cheap-ass techs, let's go and try to boost ourselves up as much as possible. Um, that's actually one of the other reasons we're behind on tech is because we haven't done these cheap, um, these cheap units yet. So our actual tech number is going to skyrocket. Uh, let's take the free kill of the guy in the water over here, which is going to be great. Um, let's blow up this Berber guy some more. Catherine, I have money. Catherine, Catherine, my love. Ugh. No, I'm missing four gold. Okay, they're they're three fifty now. The cost goes up per era. So it starts at like I think the earliest you can conceivably get is two hundred if things work out in really weird ways, but you usually don't see that. I like this Russian settler, just, like, not doing anything. Um, it's a lot of units, but I don't see how they can possibly take Casablanca back. Let's go and do that kill, which I'm okay with. Boom. Um, no way to safely reach the Great General, because I think the road is pillaged. Yeah. The Citadel is, but they also pillage the road. Which is, you know, just rude. Mm -hmm. oh, -bum -bum. Got about 17 minutes left to this. Dun, 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 dun. By the way, if you guys don't know, this weekend will be the Let em Dare live stream. It's a 48-hour game programming competition. I live stream the whole thing. So in 48 hours, I make a game completely from scratch. We don't know what the theme is yet. I'm hoping, though, that whatever it is, it will fit in um, to doing a um, an action RPG, like a Diablo-like thing. Got another great uh, scientist, which is good, because at this stage in the game, I would have much preferred building another academy with that scientist I light bulbed. But by using him to light bulb, um, or I guess in this game, it's an Erlenmeyer flask, but it used to be a, a bulb. Um, we got we got rifling sooner. Or maybe it was, yeah, it was rifling. We got it a lot faster, which I think made a big difference for us. So I'm, I'm happy with that decision. But, <laughs> another free kill over here. Um, but it's really, really nice to uh, get down academies as much as possible early on. Because they uh, give you more tech overall. I'll go ahead and take that attack, even though it's across the river. You, oh, Catherine, research agreement. Can you let me copy off your test? Thanks. Lovely. Be nice to have more friends. Uh, it depends if someone else goes autocracy, which they have not right now. Now, there might be some cultural pressure from France, depending on who they decide to go uh, with, but I think that we're putting out enough tourism and enough culture that we actually won't have too, too much of a problem. Actually, Korea's getting civil, uh, civil resistance, which is nice. And we're doing okay overall. Actually, no, that's not true. We have dissidents from Ethiopia. Really? We have enough tourism, but we probably aren't putting out enough culture. So, I'm unknown. And there's exotic. Yeah, that's what's going on there. But we are close-ish. We're closest to getting the next level, which will fix our happiness a fair bit. Alright, so I'm going to drop this near Oddwell. Probably put it right over there. Um, pew pew. You rest. Uh, you pew pew and pew pew some more. Yeah sound effects. It always helps And move you up to there and actually with that in mind we should go and fix the Citadel and that road um, But you're blocking that I oh, will come around that way. That'll be okay Do to do, do uh, You go there now if we do that it's currently gonna add 750 hammers. We need a total of 1060 so we're going to wait. We're going to wait until we've got um, enough so that the Great Engineer will finish it in one turn. Still quite slow. I guess I can put it on production focus. Yeah, I think that's going to be fair to do. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, we can't bombard from here, and you know what? That's okay. We'll just move there. So taking Fez is going to be a huge... Actually, we'll take Rabat first, because it's much, much easier. In fact, we could go Rabat right into Marrakesh. Again, we want this aluminum. We want Saleh over here. But we don't... Uh, I'm not sure what path we'll take. We want it because we need to secure aluminum. I don't suppose any of these nearby city-states have it, huh? I don't think so. 
God, we better have oil for bombers. Very well. She'll probably denounce us forever. Unless she ends up going order. Um, autocracy. Do, 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 do. Whoopa. Artillery is done. Okay, let's go back to working on our infrastructure. Getting some amphitheaters, for example. Get some more of that culture going. This Great War infantry. Um, I don't think we need siege. Amphibious, no. Might help with Fez, but probably not. Um, mostly, I really like to get some cover going on here. So we're going to get that. You heal up. Who can bombard? They're still trying to go after Vancouver. Listen, boys, it won't happen. Uh, keep resting up. We'll upgrade you soon. Although, you know what? I will get you to move up a scooch. I don't think the Berber should be able to kill you. One, two, three. But that will allow us to move forward with our artillery for more bombardments. You come that way. Uh, you should be able to do that relatively safely. Great Engineer, we'll move you to there. Or, Great General. So, if we put a unit here, one, two, three. Yeah, we can bombard Fez from the other side of the lake. Now, actually dropping a unit over there will be a little bit tricky, because if you do put it in the sea, they might just get killed from the city. So we'll have to sort of, like, go through this bottleneck here. Although, again, Rabat is sort of what we're going for first. Rabat, Rabat, Rabat. So let's focus on moving towards Rabat. We don't have much in the way of melee cover, though. So we'll have to wait a bit. This Lancer is healed now, though. And we have a road and a bridge across that river. So if I do this, I'll still have a movement left. So they have rifles now. But they still don't have Great War or, um, infantry, which is really nice for us. So they have a rifle there. Technically, you could attack across the river that way. Oh, I shouldn't have moved back. I could have bombarded. No! You fool! All right, just sit tight there for now. Yeah, we could have bombarded. Let's repair that. Because we had vision. Uh, we got to wait a little bit longer over here. That is a lovely deal. Oh, oh, no, you don't want to do it anymore. Six, though. Okay. Starting to get a little crotchety. Ah, I could have bombarded. Okay, but he didn't actually attack my Lancer, so that's good. Hey, astronomy. So we can build an observatory in the one city. So Vancouver can have an observatory, but that is the only one. Um, that's fine. Do that. Casablanca is now out of resistance, so it can start to bombard. We may leave it as a puppet. We'll see how it goes. Um, let's hit you. Since at this stage in the game, I'm not really worried about crossbows. And let's finish you off. Thank you, that makes me feel good. Morocco stole steam power from Ottawa. <laughs> no! Do we want a prora? I don't think so. Right. Actually, it's really good, but our production sucks, so we'll wait. Um, let's get a windmill going. Again, we're we're basically done building military units now. We should be able to take more cities from Morocco as is. Move you into Casablanca over here. Happiness is still bad right now, but we'll be okay. Um, we could bombard from here, and I guess we will. There's no reason for us to rush too quickly forward because we still have to wait for more of our melee troops to sort of um, repair themselves. Okay, no, right, we have to wait for this to be a quarter of the way full. Um, where does it show how much I actually put into this? It shows me the cost. I mean, I guess just a quarter of the way full. Sure, it shows me the number somewhere, I and mean, I'm just not seeing it. Um, there's aluminum northeast of Ottawa? Oh, northwest of Ottawa. There is. So Biblos does have it. Okay, we can steal that with a uh, great general, actually, if our borders get a little bit closer. Or if we make friends with Biblos. Or conquer Bidlos, one or the other. Okay, good eye, good eye. I'm terrible at seeing these things. I wish there was a search. It's always been a problem. It's really bad with um, antiquities sites. 
because what you can do, like they'll show up if your resource icons are on. If you turn off the resource icons, then they don't get a pop-up. I want a separate pop-up simply for antiquities locations because I can never, ever, ever find them. Bad at that. My vision AI just uh, just can't cope for some reason. All right, next turn. We have a real army. Everything changes with artillery. Yes, friendship. Before you pick a different uh, ideology, that would be lovely. Um, sorry, this caused the divide. Um, if we get a little bit more money, we'll get another research agreement. I guess the only thing we can bombard with that is that. Uh, you... I'm not sure how we're going to get out of that yet. That's how we're going to get out of that sticky situation. Because I don't want to use an insta-heal. I'm going to give you rank 2 of cover. By the way, cover also helps against plane attacks, which makes it really, really good. We're going to do that. Um, I guess I'll just fortify in location. I'm not going to upgrade you yet. You should be able to survive, but it's just a crossbow attack. And what we're going to do is... Oh, it'd be nice to provide some extra cover. I didn't realize we wouldn't be able to reach. Um, you know what? We're actually going to pull back. The crossbow still shouldn't be able to kill me, especially with two cover promotions. So we're going to do that. We get to steal technology. It'd be nice if we'd already finished uh, navigation, because I was going to say, I bet you the only thing we can steal is navigation. Hooray. Let's go and take a look at the info addicts. I bet you we're in the lead for technology. When we are, well, tied with Russia. But again, we have a lot of cheap text to fill up. And that's the reason it looked like we were behind. And I was like, I didn't think we were behind. So on my uh, mounted units, I often like to give them uh, shock, because they often use more open terrain to maneuver around. And so, so this guy can't bombard anything, so we'll definitely move up, actually move up to here. It's a little risky, but I think we'll be okay. Um, and so, yeah, so shock tends to come into play a little bit more, just because it works well with their more advantageous mobility. Um, boom. Take that. I'm going to build an academy. Do -do -do. London still needs lots of time. Seriously, though. There, on this tooltip, it'll actually give me the numbers. Excellent. So we just have to make sure that 750 would complete things. So we've got to be just over 300. Um, you're just mostly going to focus on moving west towards Rabat. Great general, stay in the city where it's nice and safe. You will move on to this hill so we can spot things. They're still using muskets, which is nice. Uh, you are still going to be repairing some improvements. You're going to wait. We want some extra workers soon, too. And you are going to... Maybe we'll get lucky and kill this guy. And we do. Good. Because I didn't want him to retreat. But speaking of, we will retreat to the city where we'll be able to heal that much faster. Would you be interested in a uh, yeah. I don't suppose you go for four. No. We'll keep selling it to you for three. We might be able to sell it to someone else, though, and actually get a better deal. But we'll see how it goes. We are number two in score. Just slightly ahead of Morocco, and that'll continue to improve. But look at, like, Russia! Man! Uh, no. Not another loan. Well, we'll just both wait until we've got a little bit more money. Um, although, I don't suppose you'd give me sugar for, like, five iron, would you? Nice. So we're still currently unhappy. Now, some of that is the ideological pressure, which should start to alleviate itself soon. Still have a few military units being built, which I'm fine with, but soon we will finish all that. Great rider. Excellent. Go ahead and do that. Our tourism keeps going up. How close are we to being known over here with Ethiopia? It is rising, but it is slow. Our influence with Morocco is actually dropping. We need our trade routes up and running soon, too. Oh, they've actually... Yeah, oh, I think I did see that they had rifles. They're not just on muskets. Although, primarily. Bam. Excellent. I'm just going to move west over here. And we should be able to move safely forward with this guy. Ah, it feels good to win. Um, I have enough money for a research agreement. But you don't. Mm, I won't upgrade this guy yet, but I'm thinking about it. Right, I have to remember, I'm not going to Fez, I'm going to Rabat. I mean, don't get me wrong, Fez is great too. I like their hats, but no. Uh, you are not going to advance yet. You are not going to build this yet. We need to make sure that it will auto-finish in one turn. Because you don't want to spend a great engineer 
and then have uh, not finish it right away and then have someone else steal it. That would be terrible. We're going to get you to rest one turn and then we'll start advancing on the city with all these guys. Um, you should actually be safe here. Well, there's a road, so that might not actually be true. You know what? I'll take the risk of moving across here. That way, next turn, they can set up and start bombarding. They're not protected. It's a little dicey, but I think we'll be all right. Mm -hmm. ba -da -ba -ba. Annoying flying thing says, am I the only, one guy, the only guy who plays with yield icons always on? Um, most people find it clutters up too much. Sometimes I turn them on, but I don't usually have them on all the time. I find that... I, I kind of agree that it's a little too cluttery. Uh, we could start bombarding Rabat. It might be worth killing these Berbers, though. Okay, we've got to kill some units first, regardless. So, that's fine. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. Because this Berber can't take out the Great War infantry. I'm not going to... Well, actually, I am going to attack. Never mind. I'm lying. One, two, three. Yeah, we couldn't do that. I can go to here. I can actually go all the way to here. But I think that would be suicidal. From here, one, two, three. We can't shoot the city, though. Well, I guess that'll just have to do. Um, it is worth continuing to shoot their units, because we will want to get the Fez at some point. Uh, let me go and actually hit this guy, because I don't want him rushing over and killing this artillery. That would be quite poor. Great General, uh, I'm going to move you up to here, and then we'll wait. And you keep scooching up that way. And you keep repairing terrain, or have you? That is completely repaired. Good. We still need a road to connect up Casablanca, so go ahead and build a road over there. We don't have quite enough hammers there yet, but soon. Um, you just scooch up a bit. Okay. Robot should fall relatively quickly. Uh, we'll keep the stream going uh, just long enough to pick up Robot. Of course, Catherine. Of course, we'll have open borders. Absolutely. Oh, look at this peace deal. You owe me salt, 14 aluminum, 25 gold per turn. I could probably just get you to give me a city as well. Like, if I just said something like, hey, give me a... I, I, if I hit what deal will end this conflict, they'll do this. I might have been able to have them accept, but there's no reason. Woo. Almost lost that guy and this guy. But luckily, it did not. We're going to have to run with these units, though. Although running from, our, uh, from cavalry is pretty tough. But, hang on, the cavalry is really weak, so we'll be able to do that. This guy here uh, will give you drill promotion and then just run away. Uh, Napoleon, any ch no, you're spending your money. So you know what? I will spend my money too. We'll do one of those. Lancer is done good. Your job now is to build up infrastructure, starting with amphitheaters. We need more places to put our great works, if nothing else. But we also just need a bit more passive culture. Boom. Boom. Uh, that's fine. And then that. And, oh, right, they still have the Great Wall! <laughs> I wanted to go and claim that, but I guess I can't do it. We'll do this. And, um, I'll go here, because it blocks their road. Makes no difference for me, but, you know, what the hell. Scooch up a bit that way. Uh, you need one more turn because it's still 750 it's based on the oh it is based on the city size it's something like 250 plus something like 30 per population or something like that so now it's 780 uh 900 it'd still be slightly shy um actually i think it might complete next turn if i do this depends on the production of london 43 sure there we go it is gonna complete next turn yeah we only needed six and a half hammers Perfect, which means we do not have to be on production focus anymore. We can be on normal focus, and you'll still finish it in one turn. Excellent. So now we're super incentivized to build castles everywhere, because we get from Neutschwenstein, right? From Neutschwenstein, we get plus three gold, plus two culture, plus one happiness from every castle. From our autocracy pick, we also get plus one happiness from castles. So we castle all the things. Um, Go there. Set up. 
Our bot's going to fall insanely quickly. <laughs> it's going to take us um, another turn just for our infantry to become adjacent. Ooh, that's a little bit sketch. Neutronstein! And uh, you are going to pop out and do something, and then we'll retreat with this infantry. I guess we're going to wait a little bit longer before we do that. Uh, you got to move into friendly territory at some point. Tell you what, make your way to Quebec City, and we'll get you to heal up there. Lancer can come down here and actually be safe. You can come here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gaining territory from our mounted units because of the Canadian thing. Um, military bases will give us happiness, but I don't feel that we need them too much. Uh, stock exchanges are good. You still don't have barracks or an aqueduct. Well, you don't need a barrack because you're not building that many units. Prora is beautiful. I think we're going to start one. We can't build it in um, Ottawa because it has to be coastal. Now, Russia might decide to build a Prora. They've had a autocracy longer than I have. And probably they have flight. You know what? I bet you we get beaten to this. Um, we're 37 turns till our next great general, or great engineer that we can purchase. So, no. Let's get an aqueduct going in London. I get a promotion over here. So, let's go for Barrage 2. Um, let's kill that guy that way. That'll be fine. That way here, we can bombard there. And there, and there, and there. And we're not hitting the city, which is a damn shame, but we're trying to keep this guy alive. Is there no camp here? Seriously? Pillaging the road does not give us health. So we'll just have to fortify and hope that the extra bonus plus the little tick of healing we're going to get is going to be sufficient, although it probably won't be. Um, we'll go ahead and bombard there and attack him to weaken it. Almost certainly we will lose this great war infantry. Um, with that in mind, can I just run away with him? Oh, well, shoot. Let's just do that. And oh, that's too bad. I'm going to go here just to cover my artillery. It's a bit risky, but I think we'll be... I mean, we might lose this unit, but it's still better than losing the uh, artillery. I'm going to move into Casablanca for a faster healing rate with that guy. Next, turn it up. Yes, it's overtime. That's right. Just like hockey. Overtime. All right, we did lose... Oh, we got antiquity sites. What did we lose? We got some promotions. Unit was killed. Oh, we lost that. Oh, well, okay. Um, that happens. Let's do that. The mobility of their units is just ridiculous. You can kill it that way, or you can kill it... Oh, I can't reach. Never mind. No, oh, because we already used the movement. Um, so we'll kill that. Because I was going to say, if I kill it with this, and then I'll have the vision on the city, we can bombard it there, but this will be fine enough. Um, we're going to pull you out of bombard range. That cavalry is too damaged to kill any of my units, unless it uses an insta-heal or something crazy. Otherwise, we're going to be okay. Um... Let's go ahead and get the castle. We get a lot from these castles. We've got one here already, don't we? No, we've got walls, but not a castle. Well, let's build that. We want to get them everywhere. Promote unit. You are going to get barrage two. Thank you very much. And I guess we'll keep beating up units when we can. Oh, that's going to go into Moroccan territory, which means I'm going to move super slow. Awesome. Uh, you know what? It's fine. You're going to get drill plus a little cover. And you're going to try to get your butt over to the front. I really want to get Rabat before we end the stream. This war with Morocco is just taking so much time and effort. But we are coming out ahead. And we're going to come out way ahead. I'm going to pull back a bit with the general just to make sure that everything is kosher. You are going to heal where you are, my friend. Um, and I guess you will have to heal up a bit too. <laughs> We will have to make sure we've got a unit a little bit further forward to get vision on Rabat. Oh, oh you can't build the road to there anymore because it's in the way. Um, I th I'm just going to automate you. We'll be okay. We'll get a vote soon, which I did sell off. London can bombard a Wellington privateer. Really, Wellington? Well, we're safe here. Worst case scenario is the fact that they're going to tear up a bunch of our improvements. Yeah, we are going to have to get a few more workers. 
who we've expanded a lot. Um, I'll sell it to you for seven gold per turn. There we go. I don't want iron. I'm good on iron right now, thanks. Getting a lot of iron in my diet. Okay. Who died? Oh, and they've got their Hakalatila thingies from, uh, they got that from City States. Oh, I actually should have gone for the open, not barrage, I should have gone for the other one. Get an easy kill there. Do that. Now, if I go here, this won't use all my motion, movement. Oh, it did. And I still don't have vision on anything. Okay, well, that's actually kind of sucky. Uh, but that will give me vision, and I can start bombarding Rabat. Route 2 cancelled. Okay, we're gonna be fine here. We've got enough defense. Damn, they got... Wellington's got a lot of shit, though. They, they've got a lot going on here, to the point where I'm tempted to purchase a Gatling gun if I could. Um, so we get a privateer and hit some people back. We don't have the money for any of those things right now. I think we'll be okay. Like Nottingham, the English have got their longbows. They're like, no, no, we're, we're still relevant. We have longbows. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to go stand on flat ground or um, on hilly ground to try to get a bit more cover. Bombard you. Um... You, oh wait, you were going to Quebec City to heal up a bit faster. Great general, wait there. A little worried about things over here. I can't believe Morocco's ability to spam out units at this point. It is still insane. Yeah, we did lose that unit, which is too bad. Alright, Canadian Lancer can move up, provide vision, and then we'll be able to dart back. Despite the Great Wall, because it costs two tiles per movement in there, but it's still enough. Is this out of range? One, two, oh, it is. All right, looks like it's a little vulnerable to cavalry, but hopefully we'll be okay. And I'll just bounce back over there. Aqueduct, London, which does not yet have, oh, it does have a castle, which is why it's a little bit better. Um, I'm going to get you to just build a frigate for me. So we can have one on that coast, and I'll feel a lot better about my life. Someone just subscribed. Innovate space. Thanks for the resub. If I go here, I can get... Well, I don't need to be on the hill, but that will put me in range. One, two, three, yeah. Put me in range of the city. Well, also protect me a fair bit because of the forest. Slowing everyone else down. So that'll be okay. Um... Bombard some more, especially the high mobility units. And you just get your ass out of there. Your job is to move as close to the front as possible, my friend. Uh, Great General, stay where you are. One more turn. They do pop out more um, cavalry units. We could lose some more of our artillery. Like, the AI puts them to good use, their high mobility units. Because the AI is, tends to be bad at positioning their units tactily, tactfully, which is why you tend to have a better time against the AI. You can take on an AI force that's about twice as strong as you are pretty easily in this game um, and not lose. Um, but the cavalry really helps the AI compensate for the fact that it's bad at positioning just by having a lot more movement. And then the fact that it gets massive production bonuses really, um, really help it out quite a bit. This is still technically friendly territory, although it won't be for long, but I guess we can rest there for now. Get a promotion here, triple barrage, which starts to open up some interesting upgrades later. We're going to scooch forward over here. Uh, set up, bombard. Set up, bombard. And then from here, I'm going to do this. It still allows me to be bombarded, but it probably won't kill me, and then I can move forward here. Damn the Great Wall! I'm going to figure out where it is and destroy it. Um, I'm going to save the Great Artist for now, just because I don't need a Golden Age, and I'm going to wait until we've got more slots for works of art. Great General can stay where he is. Um, and actually, you're healthy enough. I'm going to move you forward, take that risk, as are you. We can do more of that. Excellent. 
Rabat should fall relatively quickly. I still need um, to get some more proper trade routes going on. If we go to the trade overview, trade routes available, sort by highest gold, find one that's ground-based. Ottawa to Melbourne is one of our biggest money makers without giving up a bunch of tech to someone else. So this is Montreal, Ottawa to Melbourne. It wasn't already operating, was it? No. So we'll make more money if we move you to there. But yeah, we can do up to six trade routes now. We really got to get that going. It is hard to do, obviously, if, we, um, if we're at war to have trade routes that aren't getting pillaged constantly. But we'll get there. So Rabat will fall, I believe, next turn. Then we will be calling this live stream. Yeah, did expect that. I didn't think it would just get bombarded by the city, but I guess the city has a strength of 97, which is pretty good. Um, I guess it's not going to fall this turn on the basis that we can't reach it because of Great Wallness. But they're not going to be able to stop us next turn. There's too many of them. Um, yeah, I'll park you in Montreal then. Because you got booted when we moved that unit. Uh, more Bombards. I guess we'll do the healthy one here because it might be threatening this infantry. Uh, if we put you there, you're safe. Melbourne, 10 gold per turn. Yeah, it's amazing how much money we're making considering we don't have any trade routes. Uh, I think this is safe to do. All right, this turn for sure. Of course we'll have open borders. Sure, why not? I don't know. Dun, 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 dun. Things have got bombarded, but nothing died. Just get it a little bit lower. That should do it. Create puppet. Okay, we're at negative 16 happiness. That's really bad because we could get barbarians that spawn in our territory. So at this point, what we're going to do is try to piece out Morocco. Eight gold per turn. It's probably as good as we're going to get. Um, you know what? Instead of eight gold per turn, so eight times, that's 240. So we'll start asking 240 flat gold because we're going to declare war on them probably relatively soon. Okay. Maybe I mapped that wrong, but you know, it's close enough. So we'll get a bunch of flat gold. That way we can uh, deal with the fact that we're going to have barbarians in our territory. Our cities won't be at risk, but we'll potentially lose some workers, get some stuff pillaged. Uh, world ideology, ide autocracy will vote for it. It almost certainly won't go through. Although, Catherine has 14 votes. It actually might happen. We'll get more delegates. Uh, international games always goes through. Oh, there we go. We can create another great work over here. So what did we get in Rabat exactly? No wonders, but lots of good buildings. No worries there. Obviously, they need happiness structures. Let's make a quick pass. Anyone who's not building something that's making us happiness. Well, we'll finish Big Ben. That's fine. Windmill's done in one turn. And then we'll get a... We could build a zoo. Castle's a little faster. Just as much happiness. Um, castle's about to finish there, which will help. We'll queue up a zoo afterwards. Great War Infantry. You know what? We don't need it right now. Why don't you... You go walls in the castle. Let's just build a zoo first. Then you can finish that and then start on your walls. London's building that frigate, which I guess is fine. But go ahead and queue up that zoo. Um, we could buy some zoos, too. It won't put us out of um, Barbarian spawning range, though. I don't know if it's like if there's a likeliness variance. Like, the deeper you are, the more likely it is to cause issues. I'm not sure about that. Uh, Coliseum Castle. Coliseum's a little faster, so we'll do that, followed by a castle. Um, and Ottawa still doesn't have any defenses whatsoever, so we should probably start on some of those. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. Thank you very much for tuning in for another live stream. Hopefully, you're also following me on YouTube, youtube.com slash quill18. And uh, these videos, if you miss the start of it, they will be posted over there. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to also go to twitch.tv slash quill18 and hit follow so that you'll get alerts when we do the live streams because live streams are awesome, awesome fun. And this weekend, starting Friday night, um, is going to be the start of London Air, 48-hour game programming competition. The theme gets announced at 9 p.m. Eastern which is when we start programming. Usually there's sort of pre-stream ahead of that, you know, maybe as early as 8 p.m. Eastern time. Um, and uh, so that's, yeah, Friday the 17th 
8 p.m. Eastern time. Usually around then we start sort of pre-streaming and chit-chat about different ideas and get ready and get all those things going on. It's 48 hours of game programming. I do stop to sleep and, you know, I go pee and eat and go for a lot of walks, for example. But, uh, hey, Saudi Magics, thanks for the sub. But other than that, it is mostly me going crazy, especially by Sunday. I'm usually going very, very nuts. And if I run into some sort of like annoying bullshit computer program problem that I can't solve, there's usually going to be a lot of cursing, which is fun times. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much again for tuning in and I will see you guys on the weekend. Bye bye.